match number 12 tonight. Jennifer Santiago takes on Solividal Ortiz. And in the first time when they met earlier tonight, it was Santiago with a 15-11 win over Vidal Ortiz. So maybe we got two we got two battles working here. We got pride for Santiago. We got Vidal Ortiz who wants to avenge her loss in the first match. Absolutely. I think no matter what the score would be, you're going to see two warriors going for it in this match. The women never fail to please. I mean, look at Leather right at the beginning of this match. Neither fighter showing any quarter. Santiago slip early on on her back. She's back up. Obviously, for the audience, when you see the referee just rub the gloves up and down the pants, that's just to get rid of any dust or anything that might have got on the gloves when the fighter slips and falls to the mat. Santiago with the right round kick leg there. Both fighters, again, just trading alpha leather. Vidal Ortiz showing great hands, you know, great boxer's hands. But Santiago fighting, fighting a little differently in this match. She's tending to stand and hold her ground, not using that sideways stepping motion that she used the first time they fought. And she's, she's also getting, there, there we see a right knee strike, but she is really just going toe-to-toe -to -toe and exchanging punches and really using all of her boxing skills here in the final match. And notice the way she couples it up with the knees, throws those head combinations, throws a low knee. That tends to really mess with the other fighter's concentration. Not sure where the neck strike is coming from. I'm impressed with Santiago. She's really taking it to Ortiz in a different way in this particular round. Well, for when they meet again down the road, this could be good news for the clash. And Jennifer Santiago, New England strikers, as we mentioned, will win it. But pride is on the line right now. Reputations. Very classy fighters fighting until the very end. There we see clinching going on, not allowed here in the World Combat League, and a point given to Solividal Ortiz. Santiago holding on too much. Yeah, again, with the change of style of Santiago, she's got to be a little careful. When she gets in tight like that, the tendency is reflexively to just hang on when you get yourself in a bit of trouble. Ortiz then was the one trying to do a little bit of grabbing herself. Very impressive match, though. I mean, these two these two women have wonderful, wonderful hands. Santiago still trying to take it to Ortiz. As you say, it's it's a matter of prestige for the team. You know, you find it, finish off with a good bang, and Santiago is definitely trying to do that. We're in the final minute of what has been a great war here in Connecticut tonight. World Combat League. The turf wars have begun. There you see another penalty point now going New England's way. So 144 for them now. Mathematically, they will win it. Jennifer Santiago does not want to go out a loser, though, in this ring tonight. No, Ortiz, notice her hands a little lower. As I say, this is where the conditioning of the fighters really comes into play. You've got to have that anaerobic endurance in order to keep this sort of pressure up. Your body starts screaming for that oxygen. You know, your brain says go, and your body's saying, I can't. Vidal Ortiz doing everything she can to secure a victory here in the second meeting for these women tonight. She lost the first one to Santiago by just four points, and this will be a tight one again. Two great warriors battling it out. Ortiz just not quite as strong in the hand department than this time around. I think Santiago just putting so much pressure on him. He's scoring with left and right combination. Ortiz fighting, you know, trying desperately to fight back. There was a life left knee and a right ground kick from Santiago, scoring well on the body of Vital Ortiz. Santiago, what an absolute warrior. And it pays off again for her. New York Clash get 14 points. Vidal Ortiz only 11, but doesn't matter. New England will win it despite the great effort from Santiago. 161, 135, New England over New York. The World Combat League here at the Mohegan Sun and another successful night and another night of great fights. Could not be a happier night for the World Combat League founder, Chuck Norris. Congratulations again to the New England Strikers over New York, 161-135.